Detroit Water and Sewerage Department has been run by Detroit for more than a century, but now the suburbs it serves could get some control under the proposed Great Lakes Regional Water Plan. And now Detroit's Kim Russell is live in Detroit, where today the mayor answered questions about the plan. Hey, Kim. Yeah, I was at a meeting today at City Hall as he answered questions, and the reactions from the crowd varied widely. Some said it's a huge step forward for the city. Others, they had some questions, and others said it's completely illegal. Now, the legality question comes into play because City Charter says the sale of city assets has to be voted on, but of course, Detroit's in bankruptcy, so the City Charter is set aside. Now, this plan would lease the regional water mains and treatment plants to a regional authority. The regional authority would have two members from Detroit, one from the governor's office, or one appointed by the governor, rather. Macomb, Oakland, and Wayne counties. It addresses affordability, raising $4.5 million to help those who can't pay their bills. And the mayor says this allows the city to maintain control of water services while partnering with the suburbs. Uh, you, you know, I've been in meetings for three months uh, negotiating this. I think it's an excellent uh, agreement. And were there no bankruptcy, I would be uh, proposing. So what do suburban leaders have to say? Well, on the one hand, this gives them a seat at the table, something they have not had before. It also provides transparency. But on the other hand, this deal was done with a gag order in place, with one representative from each of the counties negotiating. And they say they have a lot of questions about whether it is realistic or not. We talked to Macomb County Executive Mark Hackle. You'll hear his concerns ahead on 7 Action News at 5. Reporting live in Detroit, Kim Russell, 7 Action News.